screen right there. Sister Abby, are you with us, my queen? Are you with us? Oh, our queen. How are you doing, my queen? I am blessed. I'm blessed to be here. Greetings, 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 Brother Andrew and everyone that is here so far. Thank you for inviting me. I can see the African sun in you, man. You still, you still <laughs> held on to that beautiful countenance. <laughs> You, 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 you're going to share the secret with us soon, sister. Yes, for real. The, the, the beautiful countess. Now, um, brothers and sisters, this sister is a powerful. I'm going to tell you now, this sister is a powerful sister. And there's a reason why I really wanted her to be on my show today. As I said, this sister runs um, a beautiful organization and a company that I personally believe is necessary for us as a people to be acquainted with. Okay, this is her website, Welcome to Soul Melanin. Just the name, Soul Melanin, yeah? And um, we're gonna hear from the sister as to what this whole journey that she's um, on and what she could share and how we can benefit from her work. So Sister Abby, I'm handing it straight to you. Time is of the essence. So lick shop from Babylon, sister. Okay, I shall, right. Let's share the screen. Yep. Disabled, but I want to give a the, shout out to my daughter, Sister China. You should be able to share it now, Sister. Um, I want to, as you're doing yes, it, I want to yes. give a shout out to my daughter, Sister China. As you know, she's always keeping us up to date. She had her exams last week, so she had to leave slightly early. But please, brothers and sisters, give a shout out to my daughter, Sister China, who is doing the administration behind the scenes for us. Sister Abby, it's all yours, Queen. Okay, so I'll get straight in. Greetings, family. Wonderful to be here. Um, so tonight I want to share with you the powerful benefits of grounding in nature. I know some of you have done this with me already, but many haven't. Um, and this can be done wherever you are in the world. And I truly believe that this is a spiritual practice for kings and queens and the royal family. And when I say royal family, that means our princes and princesses too, all of us. So let's get in. A bit about me. I'm the wife and mother of two amazing young people, my daughter Marenike, my son Ezekiel. Um, I'm a holistic empowerment coach, author of Nature's Medicine for the Soul, uh, essential oils educator and a leadership mentor. But really and truly, I am all about whatever comes from nature. If we find it in our presence, it's there to help us as a people. So grounding and earth connection. <clears throat> grounding has been done for millennia it's it's never really stopped when you think about our people when you think about how they connected to the earth always barefoot foot to the earth was what gave them their power in fact these days it would be known as their superpower because we have many people in our communities in the africas and the diaspora that are you know around 150 160 years of age but we don't keep birth certificates and pieces of paper but their families know through their genealogy and their history um, and it's just a very, very powerful way to connect with the earth and with our ancestors. So it's a timeless daily ancestral practice. And I say it's daily because it's something that I've practiced for many years, every single day. And really what grounding means simply is that you're in contact with the natural earth, with the natural earth's charge. Our ancestors walked barefoot, they slept directly on the ground. Everything they did, they were totally and always connected to nature. So therefore, they were looked after by nature. You can also ground in the sea, a river, or on the sand. So it doesn't have to be green grass or the earth, although it's easy to do it when you're in a country like this where the climate is more cold than it is warm. But please rest assured that when you do ground, and that's obviously barefoot, shoes and socks off, you will start to feel the benefits of grounding over a period of time. I'm not gonna go into it too deeply tonight because I'm against the clock, but I am gonna give you as best overview as I can. So the earth, okay, is, is naturally full of electrons. And for us, um, six electrons, six neutrons, six protons gives us our carbon atom, which makes up our melanin. For, for us as a people, I believe it is truly important that we ground ourselves, that we feel that connection with the earth. And, and when you are, I guess, recalibrating your electrons in the body, what's happening is 
you're enabling yourself to reduce inflammation. It helps you to improve your sleep. It gives you a deeper sense of prayer and meditation. It reduces stress and anxiety because it reduces cortisol levels in the body. And we get that naturally by grounding in any of the ways that I've shown you on the slide just before this one. So we as a people have lost our electrical roots. And that's because we are electric beings, hence the electrons in the body work in the way that they do. They power, we are like electric sources, as long as we give the body what it needs. But many of the time now we're wearing shoes or trainers with rubber soles, and they cut that sense of grounding, that natural sense that we had to the earth away, because our feet are always covered. Even when the sun shines, because we're concerned about the earth or what's happening with the weather, we will wear shoes. So we've lost that electrical um, route that we had previously. And I am a firm believer that given what we're all experiencing now, we have to get that route. We have to get that connection back with mother nature. She's there for us. We just need to take off our shoes and socks and do it. Sorry, sister, sister, I know time's of here since I'm, I'm always there, but sister, you are killing it right now. You know what I said to you, sister? We need you, I'm saying it already, we need you back. I love your explanation. I love your energy. Already, um, Baba Boss One is a bad man. He said, I was hugging the tree around three days ago. And yesterday was grounding barefoot on earth. So beautiful when the sun is touching my melanin. It's so sweet. Bianca beautiful. says, Bianca's saying, as you're speaking, all this is coming through as you're speaking, sister. I love soaking my feet in sea, sand, soil, and grass. Um, Sister Carla has also said that actually so do I, Bianca. Never thought about this until just now. And Sister Barbara Chandler, or oh, I know Sister Barbara Mohammed said, go, my sister Abby. You're one with nature. So carry on teaching, Sister. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, my sisters and brothers. So self-care is your spiritual health care. Um, this is up, up at us up at Frylands Woods, where we, we um, go out into nature. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but what you'll see, this is me grounding, grounding in the rain. So a lot of people, when they do this, they say to me, they're nervous. because They're like, why would I take my shoes off and shoes and socks off in the rain? They can hear their parents saying, don't do that. But here's the thing. When you ground in the rain, when the grass is wet or dew, what you're getting is you're getting a natural, you're getting a supercharge. Yeah. Nothing is breaking that charge. Yeah. The rain is empowering that charge. So when you do it in the rain or when the grass is a little bit dewy, it's actually far more beneficial for your emotional and your physical health. So the earth connection, when you're out in nature, whether it's rain, whether the sun is shining, we don't know how the weather's gonna be out here, but when you ground and you make this part of your spiritual practice, what you're really doing is the minute you're putting your footprint back on the earth, you are reconnecting with your ancestors. You're reconnecting with them from within and you're reconnecting with them because many of you will be aware and some won't, but the truth is in the trees. Many of our spiritual connections and our ancestors are actually buried in the trees. This is an African tradition that's happened for many, many, many years, particularly the baobab tree, which I'm gonna come on to talk very quickly about in a minute. But this is just a picture of different groups of us. I've been doing the grounding with the empowering sister circle all through lockdown. They tried to shut me down and tell me I couldn't do it, but I found the clauses in the HMRC website and showed them I could do it and they opened it up. So I've done this for the whole of last year and we're still doing it and we're going strong now. So this is Frylands Woods, it's in New Addington. We use 20 acres of semi-ancient woodland. I use grounding essential oils. I'm not gonna to touch on the oils per se tonight because I'm against the clock and I'm respectful of that, but we, will, we'll, we may do that another time. But it's a wonderful, wonderful space to be in. When we're in this space, all my rules are is you switch off from the grid, you, you unplug from tech, phone, laptop, whatever it is, and you plug into nature. And the minute you plug into nature and you focus on her energy, you will feel the benefits of that. Not just for that day, but you'll feel those benefits for the next few days. So I've recently come back from Ghana last month. I was on the search for 
carrier oils from West Africa. Now I've been using oils for the last 30 years, so I am a bit of an expert in this area and many people know me because of essential oils. So here's the thing really quickly. I was searching for a long time because many people in Ghana and Africa are very much used to herbs, incredibly powerful herbs and leaves, but not so many about the power of oils. Now we have this with us and what I found, so this is a picture of the baobab tree. The baobab tree can live up to 6,000 years old. These are our oils. This is our tree of life. Everything you need to live will come from this tree. You'll see how some people call it the upside down tree. It has this large trunk at the bottom. It can hold up to 100,000 liters of water. So when Africa is in drought, the baobab tree is feeding us with what we need. This is the neem tree. The neem, many of you would have heard about neem and the powers of neem. I don't have time to go into it tonight, but why I'm talking about this is in Ghana, in Africa, these are known as carrier oils. And there is a difference between carrier oils and essential oils. Carrier oils are fat soluble, essential oils are aromatic and only come from plants. But hear this, my family, the power that we have in these carrier oils. In fact, I'm not calling them carrier oils. I am calling them essential carrier oils because these are our medicine, yeah? And when I've been doing my research on Amazon and all these places, and it's been sold by a whole load of people, but not us, because they're going there and taking it from us, we need to get these medicines back in our lives. We need to be getting them into our daily lives, and we need to give, be giving these to our children, because this is what's going to power our melanin. And this is the people that we are. So um, I'm going to carry on because I'm conscious of time. And these are just some of the things I climbed Apajato Mountain, which is the highest mountain in Ghana. They say in West Africa, 2,905 feet. Incredible sights. When I got to the top, I took off my shoes and my socks and I grounded. And when you ground at the highest point in Ghana, the heat that you feel under the heat that I felt underneath the soles of my feet. Family, I can't even put it into words. It was powerful. It was powerful. And then I went to the highest waterfall, which was the Wali waterfall, which is at the back of the Wali forest. And I was so blessed to be able to do these things while I was out there because it's such an incredibly powerful and spiritual place. And I know all the time I was doing this, were doing this, my ancestors were with me. And the footprint that I left there is recognized wherever I go throughout this world. This is just a picture of uh, Next Door Beach, which was a beautiful evening shot there. And as I finish up now, because I said I'm going to be timely, my next Reconnect sister retreat, which is a whole weekend, we had a fabulous one back in May, is October the 1st to the 3rd. Please reach out to me if you're interested in finding out more information, but we truly connect with each other when we are in this retreat space. So these are the dates that I've got coming up. Now, my first Empowering You Brother retreat is going to be on the 22nd of August. Brothers, 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 if you are in London, if you're in Birmingham, if you're in Manchester, if you're around the greater M25, you need to come because as brothers, as kings, we need to be connecting daily to Mother Nature and getting that grounding experience. My sisters, I love you. Come see me. I'm there on the 31st of um, July. So I'll post the links. You can come and join us if you want to. Um, I run holistic group coaching courses for melanin rich women online. I do one to one. And then we've got another one on the 28th of August. So I am going to leave it there. And I'm going to say thank you for listening to my whistle stop journey. Um, thank you, Brother Andrew, for giving me the space and the time tonight. I'm blessed to be here. I was excited to be here. One love to everyone. Ashe, we give thanks. Wow, wow, wow. Brothers and sisters. Was that not phenomenal? Yeah, see, Sister Jurita, you know, she's she's high up there, beloved. She doesn't clap unless you... Sister, I'm not joking. I'm not just saying it to make you feel good, sister. You killed the game. If you, if you can come off the um, stop share, sister. If you can stop yes, the share, I'm just trying to look for that now, oh, Brother Andrew. Okay, okay, Hold yeah, on no one sec. But Where's it gone? Brothers and sisters, I mean, if you can see some of the comments that have come through, sister, I, I think you need share. to give us another course again um beloved and i know everyone's asking for your contact details so please um let jurita know put it in the chat room jurita and china 
will always be continuously posted. Sister, this was beautiful. Your explanation and the way you articulated it, I was, is like I was there. And so many people, I mean, I could, the ones are flying in already, man. The ones are already flying. Thank you, family. Um, Thank you, family. Family, please let me know. Should, do we need this sister back on again? Do we need a part two on this? So we can go a bit more into that, that, that grounding science. And um, because, you know, many of us, you know, we, 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 we want to learn about this science, sister. And it's a very ancient science. So please, brothers and sisters, we've got nearly 300 of us on the platform. Let me know, um, would you want a, a, a part two? Because I, I personally do now, you know, because I, I fell in love with the sister from before, but this is the first time I've seen her in action. And um, she's just absolutely amazing. So sister, please, if you get time, read some of the comments, beloved, because a lot of people make comments too much for me and Jerry to go through right now. I will read. Uh, there, are, there are lots and lots of comments, lots of people saying that they want more and more and more and that you are... Um, you know, feeding their soul with, with a lot of the information you've given. I do have one question though, and oh, it's, yes. my, it's my question more so than okay. anybody else's, because actually a few people on there were commenting that, you know, in the rain, in the snow, um, it's good to go out there. Now, I'll, listen, my body doesn't really ramp too much with, with cold like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I, you know, I'd happily watch everybody else take off their shoes and go in snow. I don't know if that's for me, but what would you suggest, bearing in mind we are always obviously in this cold predicament, um, what would you suggest in the cold seasons uh, is the best? I mean, is it okay to go out in the snow? Jesus Christ, I'll say yes. Listen, <laughs> those of you on the platform who know me, you send me out there in the snow. You send me out there <laughs> up at the woods in the snow, shoes and socks off. Sister Jerita, I don't play with this. Wow. Because for me, this is a lifestyle, right? My ancestor with me, whatever the weather, yeah? And this is the interesting thing, really quickly, right? When you ground in the snow, the thought, you think, oh my God, it's going to be so cold, it's going to be freezing. I'm not saying I'm out there for 20 minutes, trust me, I'm not, yeah? I'm probably out there for about five minutes, but here's what happens. You put your feet in the snow, it's like hydrotherapy, your feet, all the reflex points are at the soles of your feet, right? Yeah? So you get this kind of tingling underneath your feet, okay? And that tingling is kind of like, it's, it's bringing oxygen around all the cells in your body and you feel alive, seriously, right? You feel very much alive. I know people are thinking, Lord God, I'm not sure yes, about that, but it's, I get that, there. right? So we won't go right to the top, but even when you do it in the rain, okay? So when people run from the rain, I'm running to the rain to take off my shoes and socks, right? Seriously. But what happens is when you make that earth connection, yeah, when the reflex points connect within about, I had sisters who'd never done this before in January, it was two degrees, right? I know they didn't want to take their shoes and socks off, but obviously I can see what's going on. They took off their shoes and socks and within 30 seconds, they were ask me, how comes the soles of my feet feel warm? We are nature beings. As soon as we acclimatize, as soon as we hit Mother Earth, as soon as we put our feet on, you don't feel that cold in the same way. I'm not saying we didn't have jackets and all that on. Yes, we did. But your feet, they understand. They get the signature of Mother Earth. They connect with those electrons. So that's how you do it in the cold. And you just start off. Maybe you just start off by doing it two minutes in your garden, in the park, yeah? You do it however you feel comfortable, but trust me, as you build up, Sister Jurita, you know you want to do it now, right? I, well, I, I, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm working on you. I'm working on you, Sister. <laughs> One or two <laughs> minutes, that's all you need to do to start. Sister Amory X just sent me back foot. But she sent me back for So, um, Sister, we thank you so much. Um, it looks like 100%, Sister. Um, we're going to need you back again, sister. So um, we we'll touch base after the show because the, the whole community um, is, is, is loving your energy. So brothers and sisters, please make some noise, show some love to our sister Abby, Soul Melanin. Just the name alone, Soul Melanin, shows you where this sister's coming from, okay, beloved? Sister, we thank you so much. Moving swiftly on, we thank you with the investigator, Hidden Truth, Andrew Mohammed as we're now approaching 300 people. Remember this